converting english sentences into logical expressions why english sentences should be converted into logical expressions to remove ambiguity to make english expressions compact and precise to make reasoning formal and mechanical to make manipulation easy and to solve puzzles the three steps involved in converting any english sentence into a logical expression are step 1 identify the connectors step 2 identify the prepositions step 3 restructure the english sentence to represent as a logical expression let's take few examples example 1 bring a scarf and a hat step 1 identify the connectors the word and in the given statement represents the connector step 2 identify the prepositions Proposition P is bring a scarf. Proposition Q bring a hat. Step 3 restructure the English sentence to represent as a logical expression. Bring a scarf and bring a hat. The first statement bring a scarf can be represented with the prepositional variable P and the second statement bring a hat can be represented with the prepositional variable q and these two prepositional variables can be combined by using the logical operator conjunction because the logical operator conjunction it represents the connector and so p conjunction q is the logical expression representing the english sentence bring a scarf and a hat example 2 you are not eligible for marriage if your age is less than 18 years step 1 identify the connectors if is the connector in the given statement step 2 identify the prepositions proposition p is you are eligible for marriage proposition q is your age is less than 18 years step 3 restructure the english sentence to represent as a logical expression you are not eligible for marriage if your age is less than 18 years the first statement you are not eligible for marriage can be represented with the prepositional variable negation p because p represents you are eligible for marriage the second statement your age is less than 18 years can be represented with the prepositional variable q and these two prepositional variables can be combined by using the conditional logical operator negation p if q it can be rewritten as if q then negation p which is q implies negation p here we have used the conditional logical operator example 3 you cannot ride the roller coaster if you are under 4 feet tall unless you are older than 16 years old step 1 identify the connectors if is the connector in the given statement step 2 identify the prepositions proposition p is you can ride roller coaster proposition q is you are under 4 feet tall proposition r is you are older than 16 years old step 3 restructure the english sentence to represent as a logical expression you cannot ride the roller coaster if you are under 4 feet tall and you are less than 16 years old here the statement 
you cannot ride the roller coaster can be represented with the propositional variable negation p and the statement you are under 4 feet tall and you are less than 16 years old can be represented with the logical expression q conjunction negation r these two logical expressions can be combined by using the conditional logical operator negation p if q conjunction negation r it can be rewritten as if q conjunction negation r then negation p which is q conjunction negation r implies negation p example 4 i am not coming to the movie unless thomas comes the above statement can be restructured as if thomas is not coming to the movie neither am i step 1 identify the connectors the word if is the connector in the given statement step 2 identify the propositions proposition p is thomas is coming to the movie proposition q i am coming to the movie step 3 restructure the english sentence to represent as a logical expression if thomas is not coming to the movie then i won't be coming here the statement thomas is not coming to the movie can be represented with the propositional variable negation p and the statement i won't be coming can be represented with negation q and these two propositional variables can be combined by using the conditional logical operator if negation p then negation q which can be written as negation p implies negation q here implies represents the conditional logical operator example 5 i wouldn't drink that juice unless i was really thirsty the above statement can be restructured as if i am not really thirst i wouldn't drink that juice now step 1 identify the connectors if is the connector in the above statement step 2 identify the propositions proposition p i am thirsty proposition q i would drink that juice step 3 restructure the english sentence to represent as a logical expression if i am not really thirst then i wouldn't drink that juice here the statement i am not really thirst can be represented with the propositional variable negation p and the second statement i wouldn't drink that juice can be represented with the propositional variable negation q these two propositional variables can be combined by using the conditional logical operator if negation p then negation q which can be represented as negation p implies negation q here implies represents the conditional logical operator